regal occasion and a religious ceremony, marching together to the music of a military band. That stagecoach once belonged to Queen Victoria, and the man inside is a king, the King of Morocco. King Hassan goes to the mosque al Fez in Rabat for prayers. Eastern ceremony in the westernmost part of North Africa. Sabbath day. In this Muslim kingdom, you're within rowing distance of Gibraltar, or just a few hours by jet from London. Touch down at Casablanca, and you're face to face with Enigma. There's no ambiguity in the welcome offered any visitor to what they call the Fortunate Kingdom. But there are enigmas to solve even in Casablanca, one of the most modern Catholic cathedrals in the world, in the heart of this white-walled city of a million Muslim souls. Dazzling streets and palm trees in a land you might have thought was a desert kingdom. But here, there is water. Orange blossom and cactus in the same fertile valley. Apple blossom too, watered by natural springs. Or by the ship of the desert, working a seaside irrigation wheel. More enigmas. Ingenious engineering, an age old, brings fruit from the dry African soil. And there's so much fruit in Morocco that the orange tree is common enough to serve as a bus stop. Travel anywhere in Morocco, and if your taste is exotic, you'll never go hungry. Just stop and buy one by the road. Hedgehogs, of course, are a local delicacy, sold live. Snails, too. Take any road, and if you don't pass a Berber barrow boy, you're bound to be on your way to a market in one of the great walled cities of Morocco. Meknes, one of the great cities, skirted by 25 miles of medieval bastions, steeped in history and mystery. In the alleys of Fez, you need to know your way as well as any donkey. Almost hidden away in the heart of Fez is the Karawin, the world's oldest university. Now a sacred mosque where Muslims wash before prayer. Devotion and learning in the midst of a market. Another Moroccan enigma that the tourist soon learns to understand in the bazaars of Marrakesh. And another twist. In the heart of the carpet market, the wool dyeing and drying yards. Industry goes on in the street the kind of work travellers come to watch all day. Medieval market towns within towns, the Medinas, where the age-old routine of bring and buy is the business soul of Morocco. But outside the great Bab Boujaloud gate of Fez, you see everyone who's anyone and discover more ambiguities. There's no mystery in the Moorish art of the gate itself, only in the way it was carved. No drawn designs or plans, just the instinct and understanding of men for hot stone and cold steel. Moroccan craftsmen literally carve a living out of their city walls, even if they don't work in stone. Hides dry in the sun. And when you've worn them out, you'll know where to find a cobbler, because everything happens within the shadow of the imperial city walls. It would take more than a revolution to change the habits of craftsmen. At the seaside town of Safi, they shape Morocco's famous decorated pottery. Wise old men don't hold all the secrets, 
like the filigree wall carving, the designs are traditional, so they're handed on to the young. Talent budding, cactus blooming, not in the desert, but in the high Atlas Mountains, an almost impassable barrier between the sea and the sizzling Sahara. Berber villagers cling to the rock where the air is clear and cool. Follow the sure-footed Berbers and you come to Morocco's most unexpected contrast, snow all the year round. Not so surprising on Tupkul, second only to Kilimanjaro in all Africa. Permanent snow and winter sports right to the end of spring. Morocco has all four seasons on the go. Slalom your way to excitement at Ukaimden in the morning and in the afternoon you can take a running jump at relaxation. Just to plunge the message home, you see the mountains from a Marrakesh hotel balcony. If you feel satisfied that you've solved the enigmas, understood the contradictions, you're welcome to indulge in the more lordly pleasures of lounging by a pool. But the exotic is never far away. In a country where the tourist is welcome to feel like a king, and the king himself rides out of his mosque like a fairy tale hero astride an Arab charger.